Hello friends! Welcome to a brand new playthrough on the channel. This is The World of Horror, a game that marries Junji Ito and HP Lovecraft with a graphical style akin to old Macintosh games with both 1 and 2 bit graphic settings. All of this, by the way, drawn in Microsoft Paint by nearly a one person developer, developing team. Uh, I think they had uh, some help with the writing, I think is what I found out in my research. But this is kind of, you know, the concerned ape of horror games, if you want to consider it like that. Um, this is, speaking of Elder Tours, this is an early access game. Uh, but this game has been pretty consistently worked on. Uh, there's a whole modding community. I think it's in pretty good, it's a pretty safe bet as far as this game coming out. And if not, it's in a pretty playable state right now anyway. So, um, we are going to look at the first, uh, the basic uh, mystery here. With um, our character, I believe is Coach Takawa. Coach Takawa. I am going to actively research the uh, Japanese names. I don't promise that I'll be perfect, but I will promise that I'll try to work on it and get those correct. But this is a tiny section of a standard playthrough, showing one of the mysteries that we may run into. City of Shoikawa, Japan, 1980X. Something strange is happening in our town. Robed figures can be seen gathering in the woods at night. People are going missing. Disgusting creatures are terrorizing the seaside. The rapid technological progress of the modern era brings comfort. Such as this uh, Zach, uh, <laughs> Zach phone here from uh, Saved by the Bell. But also new unknown threats. Old gods, malicious eldritch beings who ruled the earth eons ago, are awakening as a reality starts to crumble. Armed with clues, spells, and your dwindling sanity, you'll investigate mysteries across the city and in realms beyond. An old train slows down and stops at its last station. The end of the world is at hand, and you finally arrived in the doomed town. Alright, let's take a look at the story so far, and then I think I'll talk about everything on the right here. May 1984. You've been following the weird cult for weeks now, barely surviving the encounter with the skin hag at the nursery. It's a race against time, and you can't rest until our town is safe. Spine chilling story of school scissors. I like how the mysteries, by the way, they use some alliteration in the uh, in the names. They they don't lean on this anywhere else, so it doesn't outstay its welcome. Another boy from your school has disappeared. Rumor has it a terrible woman has returned from the grave. A woman with the widest smile and the sharpest scissors. Your friend, you knew your friend was up to something when he left you with his notebook full of cryptic notes. I can send her back where she belongs, he claimed. After he disappeared too, you decided to study the notebook for clues. It details a ritual that could stop the wicked woman once and for all. What's the worst thing that could happen? Okay, before we hit investigate, let's take a look at all this. So, uh, if you've been playing the Arkham Horror File games, uh, which you probably have if you watch this channel, you'll notice a couple of familiar uh, stats. We have a Doom Meter, we have Stamina, the Heart, and Reason, the Brain, or Sanity. This is a roguelike uh, rogue -like RPG. Uh, we have some stats here. We have Strength, Dexterity, Perception, Knowledge, Charisma, and Fund. Okay, that's actually your money in this game, not Fund. There's also a hidden luck stat, which we don't know. Hence, it being hidden. <laughs> uh, we do have some things in our inventory. Let's take a look at the Straight Razor. That is a one-sharp, one-handed weapon that uses perception. 
which is perfect with our character. It does 4 damage, has a speed of 90, we'll talk about that later, and a chance to hit of 80. Avoid unnecessary cuts. We can take a look at the inspect button. It reminds you of a certain American heist thriller film. You don't need to shave right now. Clearly. Let's equip. We also have Tayaki. It is a food. Uh, we can use it for plus one reason or sanity. Tasty. Let's inspect. Tasty. Okay, that didn't help. <laughs> Alright. Let's investigate. The school is eerily quiet at this hour. Your missing friend has left you a notebook. If the rumors are true, to stop the tall woman with scissors, you'll need to perform a ritual to force her material form to appear in our dimension. Accomplishing this requires first the drawing of an eldritch sigil, and then the lighting of holy candles. You can only hope your friend has left them somewhere around the school. You have a couple of options here. Let's access our storage. We've got our knife, a letter, can't click on these things. You have a uh, grotesque statue, if you will. But the main thing we have here is the friend's diary. Let's take a look. 14. Maru is acting strange. I need to talk with her after class. I hope she didn't attempt the ritual herself. I've hidden the candles in one of the classrooms. Tomorrow, I will try to perform the ritual. A strange tall woman has been following me lately. I... And the rest of this is might as well be redacted. The sigil can weaken the demon for a while. Careful with the lines. Keep that in mind. Alright, as far as the other options go, we can explore the school, perform the ritual, which would be pretty hard to do right now, or check out the school lockers. Let's try the lockers. We have three doors we can look in. Okay, probably shouldn't have done that. We found a wooden bat. And we can't open this up, we need a tiny key. Taking a look at the wooden bat is a two-handed weapon with strength and blunt, slightly dusty. Inspecting says it's used by the school's team. Makes sense. This weapon is actually worse than our straight razor, so we won't equip it. Because it is a strength weapon, it's slower, and its chance to hit is lower than the straight razor. Probably due to our stats. Alright, let's exit here. And then we can just explore the school. You hear a faint sound while walking outside the biology classroom. Inside is an old anatomy model, its heart beating. The sight almost makes you sick. Minus one stamina. So you have these random events, kind of like Oregon Trail. And probably a million other games, to be honest. To be fair. You feel like something horrible is happening within the school. You must hurry and find those items. Well, let's keep going, then. Gym doll. As you enter the school gym, you notice a strange black doll propped up against the wall. Like in Fallout, if we had certain perks, maybe stat levels, I'm not sure. Uh, this is my first playthrough of the game. Well, other than practicing this scenario a couple of times, but... I may have some imperfect information, is all I'm saying. Come closer. Against your better judgment, you approach the doll. What you see makes you gasp in horror. The doll isn't a doll. Your sudden movement causes tiny black spiders to flee, revealing a white, half-eaten corpse. Minus two reason. Something evil stalks the empty school co corridors. You found an additional page from your friend's diary. It seems that the blessed chalk is left on the roof. You must hurry and find it. However, we can also peek outside. <laughs> to open the door, click on the handle and drag the mouse with the middle mouse button or the mouse button pressed. Okay, probably shouldn't have done that. But nothing bad happened to my knowledge. Our doom is going up, by the way, little by little. 
Let's continue. On the roof, you find the girl your friend was talking about. In one hand, she holds a bag. The other, a pair of bloody scissors. Marked by the scissor lady. So this is the uh, combat screen in the game. We have four different kinds of actions. Offensive, support, defensive, and spiritual. We'll just be looking at the attacks for now. We also have this bar, which we fill with combat uh, moons and click the launch sequence. This is where the speed comes into play. So we have time needed, a range, chance to hit, and damage. So we could just spam this with three attacks if we wanted to. We have some other options. If we don't have a weapon, we can kick, which is always kind of a terrible option. That's why you need to find a weapon. Uh, I will look at this support action. If you don't have a weapon, you can spend some time to look for an improvised one. Uh, it does lower the penalty of not having a weapon with you. We could take some time to prepare our attack, making it guaranteed to hit. If we had firearm, we could fire it. An attack boost, which is kind of a smaller version of this, prepare your attack. But we don't have the extra time really, so it's going to be better for us to just spam these attacks. So we hit her twice, and then we were bashed with a bag. Okay, so she only has one HP left, so we can just prepare our attack to guarantee a hit, and then attack here. And we are all good. So we found the blessed chalk. You copy the sigil as best as you can on the blackboard. Hopefully it will be enough. Well, we didn't copy it very well, because this is what we actually need. There are two different uh, redraw sigil actions we can do. So we need to piece them together. So we have a triangle and we have a little star over here. So... Okay, that might be it. Let's find the star in the bottom right. Okay, and then we're gonna check our work. Okay, that looks pretty close here. I don't know if these double lines are going to be a bad idea. we we'll just click through one more time. I don't think there's anything better. Yeah, this is as good as we can get. So let's keep exploring and try to get those holy candles. Substitute teacher. A tall woman with an unsettling face and twitching lips stops you. I'll be your new bi biology teacher. Can you help me move some stuff to my new office? By the way, I was a substitute teacher for three years, and yeah, we we pretty much have that expression on our face. We could help her or decline, let's help. Luck check failure. The creepy substitute teacher hands you a dusty old biological specimen. The rancid smell of formulating almost makes you drop the jar. Should fetuses have so many legs? Minus two stamina. I don't know if that's formaldehyde or if it's something else. Let's resolve. Formula in there. The sound of scissors is getting louder. You must hurry. Let's keep going. All right, we ran into an uh, anatomy class event again, so we lose the stamina. We found the blessed, uh, the holy candles along with the chalk earlier, and uh, you found the holy candles in your friend's backpack. You lit them as instructed by the notebook. Everything is ready for the ritual. Wait, what's that? Let's continue. You take a step back as a writhing amorphous mass slowly takes shape. Soon it becomes a small, a tall, woman-like creature with three faces, all connected by a wide smile. Now it is your chance to fight and defeat this horror. It's also your only chance. Prepare for combat. Twisting and twitching, the demon woman enters the classroom, cackling menacingly. Am I beautiful? 
Scissor Woman. 20 HP. Minus 2 damage to uh, stamina and reason, it looks like. 26 power. Power is kind of their dodge stat. So the higher that uh, the power stat, the less likely you'll be able to hit. And I think I'm going to just spam these uh, regular attacks here. 64% chance to hit. Okay, we got two out of three, which makes sense. We're down to 10 and 11, 12 HP. Okay, we're down to 8 HP. We have 8 stamina and 9 reason. So I think I'm going to just prepare our next attack. And we can hit that. Can we do... Yeah, we can't do that. 10 55, 66. Yeah, we can't... Can't quite go... Um, prep... It's you can go attack boost. Let's see here. 66. You go three of those. You do prep hit attack boost and swing. So let's try that. Awesome. You've defeated the scissor woman. 15 experience points. Now uh, we don't look Fantastic right now. Ancient horror lies dead on the classroom floor, slowly dissolving into nothingness. You find your friend, gravely wounded but alive. You help him and you limp away from the school as, as the police sirens get louder. Spine-chilling story of school scissors ending A. The horror is over for now. Your playthrough lasted. 15 minutes. That's not the only mystery plaguing this town. You must continue your investigation. And just to show you if we uh, are impatient, we get a little bit of a graphical Easter egg, I suppose. All right, so next time we're going to start a proper campaign. I'm Big Stupid Grin. Hope you enjoyed your time here. Until next time, have a good one.